assignment time. Now, for your assignment in Blender, your second assignment, these are seven shapes that you have to produce. These seven shapes are produced from a box. Okay. Now let me kind of go over these real quickly. Again, this is just a very easy shape to produce because it's smooth once using a modifier. Notice it does not have the modifier attached anymore because I deleted it. Okay. So once you are done, apply the modifier and that will get rid of it. You will be marked down if there's any modifier still attached to the mesh. Next one is just a box. Okay, basic shape 101, but you produce it all the time, so it has to be part of the schema. This one is a braced box. So if I hit tab, you can see that it's got the edge loops that were attached to the outside edge, and then I did a smooth modifier on it. And again, a smooth modifier is a multi-resolution modifier. Cylinder. Okay, easy to produce, sort of, from a box. Again, that's in one of the videos. Um, hollow cylinder. Cone. And pyramid. Notice all these shapes only have one level of subdivide on them. Okay, so please don't do this. If you add another modifier or add a modifier, don't divide it so smooth. Only divide it once. That's all I need you to do. Because I always have to get the student used to low poly versus high poly. And I don't want you to get into any bad habits. Only divide each one of these once. Again, when you're done with the modifier, apply it so it's not on the mesh. Another thing you will be marked down for is the fact that um, when I've given this assignment in the past, it is a big old hot mess. Basically, students just, you know, randomly put these anywhere or in any plane whatsoever. Please don't do that. You'll be marked down for it. I want all the shapes lined up perfectly. And, you know, if I hit 1, 3, or 7 on the keyboard, you can see that they're all within the same kind of um, axes. All right. Good. Just remember, representation is everything with me. Everything. Okay. Um, I want you to be able to represent yourself anywhere. Forum, life, whatever. But uh, the fact is, if you leave out messy work, it just, it just states to me that either A, you rushed through it and didn't care about it, or B, your mind is just racing 100 miles an hour and you didn't stop you probably didn't learn much so I kind of use psychology and things when I when I see messy uh, work it's kind of like looking at somebody's messy signature I know that they didn't really care or want to sign that document they just signed it because they had to do it all right so again there's your assignment enjoy uh, when you are done please save it as first name last name unit 2 Enjoy, and then turn it into whatever bin or area that I might have designated for that assignment, or uh, if you're an instructor using this series, just, yeah, there you go. I did you a favor by mentioning turn it into online or folder or whatever the instructor might have. Enjoy the assignment, and then when you are done, move on to the next unit.